fasting because you are passionate about something. You are passionate about something. Jesus saw that there is an assignment for him and he left his environment, went up to the mountain and dwelt there for 40 days and 40 nights. Esther saw that there was a crisis. If nothing is done, the Jews will be wiped out. And she took a challenge to go for fasting. Every time people take the step to fast, and they fast according to the instructions of the scriptures, they always come out better, stronger, and mountains are level. Yokes are broken, valleys are filled, crooked ways are made strong, and made straight rather. So I congratulate you for taking this step. And the Lord who rewards men and women who have made up their mind to come closer through a sacrifice, come closer through covenant, that God will showcase himself in your life. God bless you. All right, um, at the end of this meeting, I'm going to ask Pastor Basil to bless the communion for us. So Pastor Basil, you will please bless the communion for us. Quickly, I want us to go to the book of Hosea chapter number six, verse two. It says, after two days will he revive us. In the third day, he will raise us up. He will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. That word raise us up has been flashing in my heart. Raise us up. Raise me up. Raise my children up. Raise my wife up. Raise my husband up. Raise my business up. Raise my family up. Raise my destiny. Let my gift be raised up. Let everything that is associated with me or to my life, let there be a divine reason, a divine resurrection, a divine resurrection. He says, after two days, he will revive us. In the third day, this third day, this third day of this fast, I want you to cry out to the Lord. Lord, raise me up. Where I am, thank you for where I have been, but I need to move to the next level. It's a day of lifting me to the next level, next level, next level. And in all our prayer, these 14 days, I want you to continually join me to pray that God will raise you to the next level in line with the scripture we read in the book of Revelation chapter 5, verse number 12. He says, stay with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power. Lord, raise me up to the next level in power. The next level of power, the next level of, of what is what you see there? We talked about power. We talked about riches. We talked about wisdom. talked about strength. We talked about honor, glory, and blessing. There are levels. There are levels. There are levels. Lord, raise me up to the next level. And I'm looking at the book of Psalm 31, verse number four. We are going to use this together to pray this prayer. Psalm, 30, Psalm 31, verse four. Psalm 31, verse four. Are you there? He said, thou, he said, pull me out of the net that they have laid privately for me. For thou art my strength. Thou art my strength. Can I see it in a different translation? Say, pull me out. Pull me out of the net. Have you been caught up in a net? The net of the enemy? The net of the oppressor? The net of men that does not want you to move forward? Lord, pull me out of every net that seems to resist me. They pull me from the trap, my enemies. The trap, the trap, my enemies are set for me. For I find protection in you alone. You are my only helper. Good news says, keep me safe from the trap that has been set for me. Said, shelter me from danger. So, what is the prayer? Lord, 
raise me up. Lord, pull me out. Deliver me. Deliver me from the trap that was set secretly, secretly against me. Secretly against me. Look at Psalm, Psalm 40 verse 2. Psalm 40 verse number 2. 40 verse 2. He says, thank you Lord Jesus. He pulled me out of a dangerous pit. He pulled me out of a dangerous pit. Out of a dangerous pit. Out of a trap. Out of a miry clay. Out of the deadly pit sand. He set me safely. He set me safely on a rock and made me to made me secure. That is good news. Let's let's uh, give it to me in a new living translation. New living translation. Now, as you put these words together, we are going back to God, which His word, Lord, pull me out of the horrible pit, out of the trap, out of the miry clay. He said He lifted me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and the mare. He set my feet on the solid ground and steadied me as I walked along. So all of these are bringing us to one point. And I want you to pray this prayer, knowing that there is God who answers prayer and he will show you his mercy. I see people being pulled out. I see people being pulled out. Of, of a pit, out of a trap. Something has trapped somebody down. And together we're going to cry out to God today. Lord, let there be a resurrection. Let there be a resurrection. Psalm 124, verse 7. Psalm 124, verse 6 and verse 7. 124, verse 6 and verse 7. Let's use it to close that chapter and we'll get into prayer. It said, let us thank the Lord who has not let our enemies destroy us. King James of it. Who are, thank you, Lord Jesus. Let us, he says, thank you, Jesus. King James of it, please. All right. So, blessed be the Lord who has not given us as a prey to their teeth. In this life, in this life, there are enemies that do not want, especially the righteous, to move forward. And as the Lord began to bring this to my notice this evening, I know that somebody who has been trapped, somebody who has been snared down, must be set free today by the force of God. Now look at the next verse, verse number seven. Verse seven. He said, blessed be the Lord. Verse seven. He said, our soul is escaped as a bed out of the snare of its fowler. The snare is broken and we are escaped. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Now, whatever snare has snared any brother here, any sister here, as we begin to pray, I want us to pray for ourselves and pray for your family and then we're going to pray for people here. Somebody is here that needs to be set free from every form of snare, every trap, every pit that has held him or held her. Shall we unmute ourselves and begin to pray? You can unmute, unmute, and begin to pray. And the prayer is that God will resurrect you. God will raise you up and raise your family, raise your children. Raise your children. My father caused my soul to escape as a bed out of the snare of the fowl. Lord, break this snare so that I can escape, so that my son can escape, so that my daughters can escape, so that my husband can escape. In the name of Jesus. Raise me up, O God. Raise my son, O God, my father. And where he is sitting, O God, on the floor. Raise him up, O God, my father. Lapuri Baba Baba. 
God. Raise me up. Raise my family up. Raise my son up, oh God, my father. Raise my daughters up. La puri baba zeke. Maseke ke ki baba zoko. In the name of Jesus. Revive me, oh God. Revive me, oh God. Raise me up, oh God. To that woman, oh God. That you have created, oh God. Raise me up and take me to the place, oh God, that you have shown me, oh God. La puri ba 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 ba. Ase ke 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 ke. Bobo ze ge 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 ge. La puri ba 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 ba. Ase ke ke ri ba bo bo re ba ba. Ase ke 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 ke. Za ba 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 ba. In the name of Jesus. Ka 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 ka. Ri ba 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 ba. Ase ke ke. Ri ba ba zo go go. Raise me up, oh God. The place of power. So the place. I, I I don't know how to say this. There is a particular person in your family. There is a particular person, maybe one or two or three, that must be rescued tonight. Somebody must be rescued tonight. Somebody who seems to be drowning. Somebody who seems to be held, held. He said, pull me out of the net. Pull me out of the net. You know, some people are so hard-hearted hard, hard that when they see that a young man or a young woman or a marriage or a business is rising and rising and they get jealous, they get jealous. Some of us are too holy to know how wicked people can be. We are too good, too righteous to know that there are people who can go to a Sangoma, who can go to a, a juju priest, you know, a, 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 a juju, an occultic person, or, you know, a, a witchcraft altar, and, and make sacrifices to stop somebody's rising, to hinder somebody's rising. We are calling upon the God with whom all things are possible. The one that said, call upon me in time of trouble, in time of sure. trouble, and I will rescue you. Are you aware that there are diseases that did not just happen? They were programmed sure. by the devil. They were programmed hey. by the enemy. There are some sure. marriages that scattered because somebody programmed against it. Somebody <laughs> programmed against it. Whatever has befallen that man, has befallen that young man, befallen that young lady, befallen that marriage, befallen that ministry. Some ministries were closed down because demonic forces ganged up and bewitched the pastor, bewitched the congregation, and everybody scattered. Some people went into all manner of things and the place is shut down. Whatsoever the enemy, there are specific people you need to cry out to God tonight. Lord, pull this man, pull this woman. If it is you, God, pull me out of the net, out of the net. He says, they, we have escaped like a bird from the hunter's trap, the hunter's trap. He said, the trap is broken. The trap is broken and we are free. There are traps, traps that must be broken tonight. There are traps that must be broken tonight. He says, according to the scripture, this, 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 that chapter 40, verse 2, I want us to jam this together. Locate that there is a particular person in your, in your life that must be set free tonight. He said, he pulled me out of the dangerous pit, dangerous pit, dangerous pit, out of the deadly, you know, uh, uh, modicler. Shall we begin to pray?
capitalize on these scriptures and on this third day of your fast and locate those people and begin to see yourself literally pulling them out. See the angel of the Lord helping you to rescue them from where they have been trapped. In the name of Jesus, Father, la gadiye ke so pratana jende, le kada pada kada pana kada pana gadiye ka, e pando se ke pre kada pada 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 ka, e pando se ke in my this person, who is on that feet, who has been shamed, who has been cut down, been cut down, cut in the neck, who has been 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 cut in the neck, who has Hallelujah. Now, listen, I, I want to sometimes the fear of God comes upon the people when the judgment of God is executed. When the judgment of God is in motion, fear comes upon people. God is a God of vengeance. God is a God of vengeance. He's a God of mercy. He's also a God of vengeance. I want us to pray. Everyone that has trapped the person or the persons or the family you pray for, everyone that intentionally, knowingly, purposefully trapped them down, snared them down, put a net to capture and to frustrate. God, bring such people to have a taste of it. Bring such people as you rescue whoever you pray for. Lord, cause the people that set the snare to fall into that snare. Cause the people that dug the pit to fall into that pit. Go ahead and make that decree. Let, I don't pray for people to die. I pray that they will, God will deal with them, deal with them unto their repentance. Some people will not repent until the wrath of God, the rod of God, the sword of God, strike them, strike them until there's no way escape than to return back to God. Shall we go ahead and make that prayer? Lord, we ask you today, any man that has Father, put the mighty name, name of Jesus, my Lord, for me, Lord, 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 on my path, don't get peace for me. Anyone that don't get peace for me, my household, God is everything. 
Bring me out of the horrible pit, out of the marriage clan. Set my feet upon the rock. Establish my way. Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That is a resurrection. That is a rising, a rising, a rising happening around your life, happening in your family, happening in your family, happening in the life of the specific individuals you called on to even tonight. To God be the glory. For the angels that have gone forth, the angels that have gone forth to execute the decree of the watchers in a dimension that will bring praise to the almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. My book is open to the book, Revelation chapter 2, 22, verse number 1. And number 2, Revelation chapter 22, from verse 1 to verse 2. He said, and he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. He says, in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. There are many things in this scripture. Firstly, I want us to understand that there is, he says, and he showed me a pure river of water of life. And this water was proceeding out of the throne of God. In the morning, we saw that there is liquid fire, a river of fire coming out of God. And that is why when you come closer to God, you become a woman of fire, a man of fire. Because there is fire that proceeds out of God. The Bible says God dwells in the midst of unapproachable fire, unapproachable fire. So when you get into him, you find fire proceeding out of him, setting you on fire. Number two, he said that there is, oh, this river is described as the river of a, 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 you know, a clear, as clear as crystal proceeding out of God, the throne of God, and is described as the river of the water of life. The river of the water of life. Jesus said to the woman, that if I give you the, if you know he who is talking to you, you ask him to give you the water you drink and you taste no more. You taste no more. The woman screamed, wow, the water I will drink, I will taste, taste again. And this water, of course, is the spirit of the living God. When the spirit fills you, you lack nothing. You, you are contented and satisfied beyond measure. You are complete. You have all. And you become a river yourself. So this moment, I want us to pray. Lord, he says, this river flows. And the two sides of this river, what he said there? He says, on the either side of the river of life, there are three. There, there, he said, the tree of life exists, which bear 12 manner of fruit and yielded her fruit every month. This is the month of July. There is a fruit coming out of this tree. There is a fruit meant for this month. And you can't miss it. There is a fruit I must produce. Heaven is watching. Heaven is waiting. That this fruit will come out of me. It will come out of you. Different kind of fruits. 
bringing glory to God month after month. And he said the leaves are for the healing of the nations. And I'm sure you are aware that God is raising you to be one of the agents of healing the nation, one of the agents of fixing the nation, restoring the nation, recovering the nation, wiping the tears of the nation. One of the vessels he wants to use to mend the brokenness in the nation, to mend the brokenness in families, to mend the brokenness in the lives of people, and to give people hope for a new life. So I want us to have an encounter with this river of life this morning, this evening, and have an encounter with this fruit. That is the fruit you will pluck out of this tree. And there is something God wants to invest in you that will make the people of the world this month of July experience a healing, a healing by your word, by your touch. You know, some people will see you and the hope comes back to them. Some people will hear your voice and they will come alive. Some people will remember you. Some people will dream of you and they are set free. They are restored. They are rebuilt. Hope, life comes back to them. So I want us to begin to pray now. Lord, I come to you again to drink and to drink to overflowing so that out of me, this river will begin to flow. I drink it and it begins to flow through me. It's called the water of life. I am a man sent to give life. I am a woman sent to give life. It begins at home. Charity, they say, begins at home. You must give life to the people around you. And you must bring fire to the people around you. Shall we begin to pray? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm here again this evening to drink, to drink this water of life. This pure water of life, this water of life, this water of life, we come to encounter this water, we come to encounter this river, 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 that flow from your presence, that flow from your presence, the water of life, the river of life, the river of fire, we come to encounter this river of fire, this river of fire, this river of life, this river of life, this river of life. Every fruit and 
ambassadors of Christ, and messengers, O Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, Father, we thank you, Lord, my God, that is the Lord. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Look at something I'm seeing. I'm seeing something in the book of Psalm 44, verse 3. Psalm 44, verse 3. Psalm 44, verse 3. Okay, sorry. Isaiah, rather, Isaiah 44, verse 3. Isaiah 44, verse 3. He said, For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. That is number one. Number two, he said, I'm floods, floods upon the dry ground. Number three, I will pour my spirit upon thy seed. <laughs> Number four, and my blessings upon thy offspring. There are four dimensions of encounter God wants people to have. You are a partaker of that encounter and you will be a vessel for that encounter. Lord, where I am thirsty, pour water upon my soul. Mm -hmm. Where my family is thirsty, Lord, pour water in that direction. He said, and then I remember sharing with us one day, God showed me, he said, this is the state of Asia. That picture hasn't left me. I saw the floor, the ground, so dry, so broken, you know, to show how long water has not touched the surface. A dry ground. A dry ground. Some families are so dry, dried of the knowledge of God, of the presence of God. Some, some, some people, some cities, in some communities, in fact, some nations are so dry of the knowledge of God, of the word of God, of the knowledge and the wisdom, the counsel of God, so dry. He says, for such people, I am not going to pour water. He said, I will send floods, not even one flood, floods, floods upon dry ground. He said, then I will pour my spirit upon thy seed. Do you have children? Do you see what God is saying? He said he will pour his spirit upon your children. He said, and my blessing upon your children, your offspring, your blessing, your, my, my blessing, heaven's blessing. I want us to pray. Today is the third day. Lord, let this scripture, Isaiah 44 verse 3, become a practical in reality in my own family, in my own life. We are focusing family today. And family can extend. You are part of my family. You are part of my family. So I'm praying for my biological family, extended family, and this very altar where we are. And what is the prayer, Lord? Those who need, who are thirsty, God, pour water on them. Those who are like dry ground, Lord, let there be flood. Let there be flood. And Lord, pour out your spirit and pour out your blessing, your blessing, your blessing, your blessing. Some of your children need to get married. Some of your children need to get jobs, need to succeed in the academics. Some of them need to be free from whatever has held them. Some of them need to be, be anointed with the anointing of God to do exploit. Some of your children are called as evangelists, as pastors, as prophets, as powerful intercessors, music stars. People called in the, in the apostolic or prophetic um, mission, but they abuse you with other things. Lord, let your spirit be poured upon them and let your spirit arrest them. And number two prayer, because we're going to take some time to pray this prayer. Lord, make me an agent of bringing floods to dry lands, an agent of pouring water on thirsty hearts, an agent of bringing your spirit to come upon the whole family, upon the whole territory, upon the whole area. Let me be that woman, that man, through whom the spirit of God will come upon a people. 
Shall we begin to pray now? Hallelujah, Father. Please unmute yourself, servant of God, and begin to pray. My God, lay now self at the land of 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 Hallelujah. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 4 has something for you. He said, For to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. To him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a, 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 a dead lion. The people you are connected to is important. In these six months ahead, the people you are connected to, the people you are joined to, very, very important. Who are you connected to? Who are you joined to? Thank God for this altar. Even though God used me to start this altar, but believe me, when I think of, there are, there are sometimes I'm faced with challenges of life, 
troubles of life. And I remember some people on this platform. My spirit comes energized, charged up, charged up. Because people you are connected to can be source of power, source of strength, or source of weariness and discouragement. So, we are going to pray, Lord, for the rest of this year, connect me to the living. There are groups that are dead. There are associations that are dead. You don't seek the living among the dead. You don't seek glorious destiny where people are chasing shadow. You know, Paul the Apostle was saying something in 1 Corinthians chapter, chapter 6, verse 16 and verse 17. Chapter 16 and verse 17. He said, but he, he said, what? Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body. For the two, says he, shall be one flesh. The person you are joined to, the person you are associating with, will bring you down or raise you up. Said so if you associate with a harlot, people who are immoral, people who have no control over their emotions, over their appetite, you will go down with them. But look at verse 17. He said, but he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit with him. He that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit with him. Lord, I want to be joined to you. I want to be joined to the living. I want to be among the living. I want to be among the revivalists. I want to be among those who are moving up, those who are rising up, those who are flying, high flyers. I want to be among them. I want to be among those who have become like rivers of fire, who are rivers of grace, who are rivers of mercy, who are rivers of life, who carry life themselves. Lord, I want to associate with such people. God, search my relationship, search my association, and cut me off any man, any woman, any group that I prepared or arranged or sponsored by the devil to drain me and to finish me. God rescued me from such and bring me in connection with the people. The Bible said, walk with the wise and you shall become wise. Walk with the wise and you shall become wise. Walk with the wise and you become wise. Walk with the foolish and your life will be stagnated and drained. Shall we begin to pray? This prayer will cause something in your life. This prayer is a dangerous prayer. It will cut some people off you and connect you to some new people. It will pull you out of some people without you knowing how it happened. God will intervene to rescue you from those that are quenching your fire, those that are draining you, and connect you to people that will walk the road of destiny and make you a victor. Shall we pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you. This fire cannot be quenched. This fire cannot be quenched. This fire cannot be quenched. Upon the life of your sons and daughters, my God, I call upon you. Father, connect me, O God. Connect me to high fire. Connect me to high fire. The light of the of Jesus Christ, the light of the fiery land, any relationship that will bring us to the fiery land, connect us to one of the in the way that leads to greatness, that leads to greatness in the name of Jesus. God, bless you, God, that you be the same. The God, join us to the living. 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 Join us to the all through the days of July, I have been to the Lord, to the Lord, 
the power of God. Not in the of God. Not in the of God. Not in the name of God. Not in the name of God. We find the men that are in the world. I teach them walking in the light. Walking in the light. We find the river. We find the fire. We find the glory. In the name of Jesus. Oh God. In the name of Jesus, every agent of the doctrine, every agent of the the fire of God, every agent of the fire of God, of God will fight you, will cut you up, will cut you up. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, bless the billionaires. Thank you, Jehovah. The rule of the tribe, the Nagarabadi, the Rando Setana, 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 the the Rando Setana, the the Man, <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I want us to pray for the Global Harvest Prayer Network. The Bible says that fire shall not go off at the altar. Fire shall continually burn at the altar. You know, in the Catholic Church, in every single Catholic church, I grew up in the Catholic <clears throat> church. I know when we go to the mass, every time we go there, there is fire at the altar. They make sure there is a candle light burning at the altar. They follow it practically. Fire, you won't go to any Catholic church anywhere in the world without seeing a candle light. Where there is no candle, they put a lamp to be, make sure there is fire there. There is fire there. I want us to pray that the fire of the Global Harvest Prayer Network will grow from what it is into becoming a river. Let river of fire daily, daily go out of this place. That any time we come into these meetings, there will be a contact with fire. You come cold, you become fiery. You come lukewarm, you become fiery. You come with fire, your fire explodes them all. Everyone is hot. Nobody's lukewarm. Nobody's cold. You are so fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, doing great things that people can't explain. How does this woman have time? How does she have the strength, the energy? Look at her age and look at the exploit she's doing. There is a source. There is a source. A source. It's like a petrol station where you come to Fuel the car, fuel the tank of the car. Lord, make this place a petrol station. Every day, people come here. You don't come here and go the same. Never, never shall we begin to pray. He said, the fire shall never be, shall, shall ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. Let this be performed in this altar. Shall we begin to pray? Father, hallelujah. Malaysia, come to me. Come to me. Malaysia, to me. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Oh my God, I pray for this altar that the altar, the fire of this altar shall continue to grow. The fire of this altar shall continue to grow. The fire of this altar shall continue to grow. In the name of Jesus Christ, the fire of healing. The will come and cut the fire of wealth and riches. The confused will come and cut the fire 
of knowledge and wisdom and direction in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. See what I'm seeing. See what I'm seeing. I saw sword, a sword that was blunt, but now the edges became so sharp, so sharp that the sharpness of it can do in one single minute what a blunt sword will do in several hours. Yeah. I saw the sword blunt, the edges were so heavy and thick, but now so tiny and so sharp. Yeah. I want us to give thanks to God. Yes. There is an anointing on this altar to sharpen men, to sharpen gifts, to sharpen talents, to sharpen graces, to sharpen the calling of people, to sharpen the calling of people. I want us to begin to thank God. What he showed me, has told me, has answered us. Thank him that this altar carries a sharpening effect in the life of people. Glory to God. Shall we thank him, my father? Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. For you are shaking me. That shaking is man is man. That shaking families with shaking people's gifts. That shaking people's gifts with people's talents, people's grace, people's gifts, people's talents, people's skills, people's equipment, people's capacity, people's ability. Be sharpened, my God. I give you glory for sharpening families, for sharpening businesses, for sharpening ministries, for sharpening evangelists, sharpening pastors, sharpening intercessors, sharpening prophets and apostles. Sharpening, oh Lord, teachers, sharpening mentors, sharpening disciples, sharpening businessmen, businesswomen, sharpening marriages, sharpening wives, sharpening husbands, sharpening people, sharpening people to the glory of your name. Father, we thank you, we thank you for the anointing that sharpened, the anointing that sharpened, anointing that sharpened people. Be glorified. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I give thanks to you. Oh my God. Thank you, Father, for the sharpening that has happened in the life of men and women. Sharpening that has happened in the life of people, in their gifts, in their grace, in their talent, in their calling. Sharpening, sharpening, sharpening that is taking place in the understanding of people, in the skill, in the capacity of people. 
in the in the in the gift you bestowed on people that have been lying fallow, unutilized, undeveloped, unsharpened. Thank you for sharpening each one, sharpening us, making us sharp threshing instruments, sharp threshing instruments that we use to 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 sharpen your the, your move, to sharpen your move, and to quicken your move, and to hasten your move, and to facilitate your move, and to glorify your name in the land of the living. Bless be God for what we could not do because we were blunt. We will do effortlessly because we have been sharpened by the Spirit of God, by the fire of God, by the power of the Almighty. We return all the glory to you. Thank you for bringing us to where we are and for the journey that is before us. Thank you for bringing us to empower us. Thank you for the empowering, for the sharpening, and for all. You have planned out even things we do not know, even things we do not know that you want to do with us. But you are busy preparing us for what you prepared for us. You are busy equipping us for what you prepared for us. Glory, 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 glory for sharpening each man and woman here for great exploits. We return all the glory to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Wow, wow. Congratulations.